Hey guys, Paul from Inside Blinds and Shutters Group. We are just out at a beautiful project that we've been um, patiently awaiting the date of handover for the customer. We've got a beautiful Rawson home, um, Hampton style project that we're doing today. Uh, plantation shutters, um, some auto automated uh, roller blinds, and of course our signature style sheer curtains. So I want to give you guys maybe a quick sneak peek into today's project, um, just to get a bit of an idea on you know, the, the type of look and feel uh, that's, that's happening around here. Um, so yeah, so basically we'll give you some more updates really, really, really soon, but yeah, lots of, um, lots of beautiful, beautiful pictures to come, and this one should be an absolute stunner. All right, we're just finishing up out at um, our Borkham Hills project, Rawson Homes, um, Rawson Homes, Hampton style. Hampton style project. So we've we've basically just finished the house of plantation shutters, sheer curtains, block out curtains, and um, some some motorised or automated roller blinds. So we've just got the boys just doing some some final touches now. Um, essentially, just you know just adjusting the hinges, doing the finishing touches. If you have a have a bit of a look around the room, we've got we've got Aaron over there on the shutters. Nice job today, Aaron. That's the way, man of many words. And we've got uh, old DJ cranking away in the ensuite, doing some adjustments, all good DJ? Beautiful. Nice beautiful. project today bro? Lovely project. Good work man, very, very nice. So you can see the guys are just doing their finishing touches. I'm gonna show you guys downstairs, just to have a bit of a look at um, uh, the, the shears and the roller setup. Um, check out the staircase as we go down. Look at that. Well, that staircase, man. That's nice. Yeah. So just gonna go down to the um, ground floor and have a bit of a look at um, the sheet curtains and roll lines. So just behind me, you'll see what we've got. Let me let me fix this up a little bit. Right. Sheet curtains. We got a beautiful fixed window. In the, in the lounge area. If you guys are building a raw, anyone's out there is building a Rawson home or a, um, or a Mac Jones home, maybe not so much Mac Jones, but um, you'll find that you'll, you might get this similar setup where you've got the big four panel fixed windows across the back or across the side. We've got some really great solutions for these. A lot of people struggle, they say, hey Paul, you know, what, what, what can I put on my windows? It's not gonna look too heavy and bulky, that's gonna block out the sun. Um, without taking away from the from the look, so this setup, if you if you're into the sheer curtains and block out roller blinds, and who isn't, um, this might be an ideal setup. What we have done here is we've automated everything, so we've got some really nice Somfy wireless motors. Um, so the benefit of that for you guys is that that really no one needs you don't need to do any hard wiring um, post handover because it is a, a bit of a nightmare to go you know, through the reveal, through the gyp rock, into the roof, and it's additional money to get, get the sparkies back out to do it. But this is a good solution. Um, if we have a bit of a look, I've, we've programmed them all to um, operate both dependently and inde independently. So we've just got down function now. Aaron, do you like the automated blinds? Yeah, I'm good. Excellent. And you want to say hi to your mum? Hi, mum. Okay, fantastic. Let me fix this up a little bit. Right, sheer curtains. We've got a beautiful fixed window in the, in the lounge area. If you guys are building a raw, anyone's out there is building a Rawson home or a, um, or a Mac Jones home, maybe not so much Mac Jones, but um, you'll find that you'll, you might get this similar setup where you've got the big four panel fixed windows across the back or across the side. We've got some really great solutions for these. A lot of people struggle, they say, hey Paul, you know, what, what, what can I put on my windows? It's not gonna look too heavy and bulky, that's gonna block out the sun um, without taking away from the from the look. So this setup, if you if you're into the sheer curtains and block out roller blinds 
and who isn't, um, this might be an ideal setup. What we have done here is we've automated everything. So we've got some really nice, somfy wireless motors. Um, so the benefit of that for you guys is that, that really no one needs, you don't need to do any hard wiring um, post handover because it is a, a bit of a nightmare to go, you know, through the reveal, through the jib rock, into the roof, and it's additional money to get, get the sparkies back out to do it. But this is a good solution. Um, if we have a bit of a look, I've, we've programmed them all to um, operate both dependently and inde independently. So we've just got down function now. Aaron, do you like the automated blinds? They are good. Excellent. And you want to say hi to your mum? Hi mum. Okay, fantastic. Really, no one needs, you don't need to do any hard wiring. Um, post handover because it is a, a bit of a nightmare to go you know through the reveal through the jib rock into the roof and it's additional money to get get the sparkies back out to do it but this is a good solution um, if we have a bit of a look I've we've programmed them all to um, operate both dependently and inde independently so we've just got down function now Aaron do you like the automated blinds they are good excellent and you want to say hi to your mum hi mum okay fantastic So again, we've got sheer curtains. We've got a ceiling ceiling drop on this one, guys. So we get a lot of questions around, hey, can you guys, am I still able to do a ceiling mount curtain if I've got cornicing? Well, the answer is yes, of course you can. We, we, we use a nice little slimline track. Um, I'll give you guys a bit of a, a bit of a sneaky peek here. So we've got a bit of a slimline track that mounts just in front of your, your cornicing there. Don't be too scared about that because that spacing between the cornicing and the ceiling is actually the perfect um, build out for, for an S-Wave or an S-Fold to, to be able to clear um, touching the back of the, the architrave. So it actually is, is an ideal setup. So you can see we use a nice low profile runners for the S-Wave and it's just all about the fabric. So what we've done on this one, we've done a slight deduction. We've done a five to 10 mil deduction. So it looks like it, it just floats on the floor. And as you notice, as we go around, not one spot touches the floor, which is great. Aaron, was that you that measured this one? Yeah. Yeah, well done, bro. Very good, very good. Okay, cool. That's um, that's pretty much the job today. So, well done, boys, and another, another great project.